Hey guys, welcome back. This video is going to show you how to allow Cody to be remotely controlled by your smartphone. From the main menu, go to System. In the System menu, go to Services. In the Services menu, you're going to want to make sure that your settings level is set to Standard or higher. By default, the settings level is set to Basic. By clicking the settings level, it will change to Standard. Clicking it again will bring it to Advanced. And clicking it one more time will bring it to Expert. As I said, your settings level needs to be at least Standard. Once you have the settings level set to the proper level, go to Web Server and make sure you've checked this option Allow Control of Kodi via HTTP. It will ask for a port. The default port of 80 is typically alright. And it'll ask for a username and password. Here is where you want to set up your own username and password so that no one else can get in your network and take control of Kodi. If you don't see that being a problem, you can leave it the default, which is Kodi and a blank password. After you've set this up, you're all set to go. At this point, you can download a remote control app for your smartphone, plug in these settings into that app, and start controlling Kodi from your smartphone. I'll be covering that one in this video right here. Thanks for listening and don't forget to subscribe.